You've heard it before, the tech industry has a diversity problem, a big one. And when it comes to companies hiring practices, it turns out unconscious bias plays a huge role. I want you to meet Kieran Snyder. She has a PhD in linguistics, she worked at Amazon and Microsoft, and then she decided to create her own software company to tackle this problem of unconscious bias in hiring. It's called Textio. What exactly is the mission of Textio? To help companies hire better using big data to make hiring faster, more qualified, more diverse. We look at the specific words that are in the listing, why some words drive women to apply more than men. You can conjecture, but mostly for us it's a matter of statistics. We recognize over 40,000 distinct phrases that change the effectiveness of your listing. Are there certain words, would you say, that when women see more of these types of words, they think, I'm not going to apply for this? There's a range from conscious to subconscious, so definitely popular phrases that draw from military or sports, like this is mission critical, or we want people who will leave it all on the court, um, which turns up in some job listings tends to drive down the number of women who will apply. Some of it is more subtle. Uh, the difference between manage a team and build or develop a team. So if you say you're looking for someone who will manage a team, you attract fewer women than if you say you're looking for someone who will develop a team. So let me show you kind of how Textia works. So we pulled a job listing to kind of take a look at. We want to see how strong it is and how biased it is. So this is a tech product director of data. I'm going to go ahead and take that job listing and just paste it into Textio. It's gotten marked up with a bunch of colorful language. You can see you've gotten a score. Uh, the score is not great, it's okay. out of 100. So this means that we think compared to other similar listings, it won't attract as many qualified people, it may take a little bit longer to fill. How interesting too that it highlights the feminine words and the masculine words, collaborative, helpful, contributor, all feminine, manage, proven, or male. This is sort of our analysis of the gender tone of the listing. So is a little bit to the masculine side of the spectrum, the but it's not severe. So if we want to go ahead and try to fix this a little bit, instead of saying proven team player, let's make it proven teammate. Means the same thing, but it doesn't have the same wow. jargony association. You can see we've driven up your score. Okay, so what are we looking at here? So this was a listing for an administrative assistant job. The interesting thing about this listing is it sort of plays into what we might expect with the gender bias for an administrative assistant role since many administrative assistants are women. It's kind of interesting when you look at an executive position, right? Okay. If we want to go ahead and compare. So this is a vice president role, so pretty senior. But if we okay. go down and we look at the gender tone, excuse mas excuse masculine. So this is a product designer role, very close to the middle of the ring. Good mix of the blue and the purple. And product, worth pointing out at tech companies, is a role that tends to be a little more gender balanced than a pure engineer. Is there a certain type of industry that struggles with gender bias the most? I mean, the stories are true. Tech and finance do struggle the most. Tech struggles the most, especially with respect to the exclusion of women. I love this idea of numbers fighting sexism because when we think about these issues, they're deeply emotional issues. Is that the future, numbers? I think it's a big part of the future. I don't think we ever replace great human consulting. We work very closely with a bunch of diversity consultants and what they can do is help interpret your numbers and point out patterns around your organization. So I think we work together.